Good morning everyone. Welcome to Total Evelyn. People often ask me, how do I keep my skin looking youthful? Well, today I'm going to share essential products that I use every single day to make sure that I'm doing the best that I can possibly do. Join me after the break. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you my essential products that I love to use and that are pretty much running out. And because it's lockdown, I am starting to worry about buying all these products <laughs> because some of the products that I've been using are very luxurious products, but there is other products that I'm using that are reasonably priced. Okay. Let me start with the luxurious products that I use. This is a body cream and it's Jo Malone and it is Dark Amber and Ginger Lily. Love this one. I've not got a lot left in it. Oh, it's, I wish you could smell it. It's so gorgeous. I always feel my skin nice and soft. It is really worth the money because the smell alone really do feel that you've gave your skin the best. So that's the body cream that I would use all the time. Oh, oh, it's so gorgeous. <laughs> now, can't afford that just now because I am not working, so I have to just really be careful and try and use this sparingly. <laughs> Trying to keep it as a luxury for once a week. What I do is every single night I take my makeup off. You must take your makeup off and then let your face breathe and then I put on a night cream. This one is just the Night Repair Eye Serum, but also I use the Night Repair Serum for your face. I don't put any cream on, I just use the serum. And when I wake up in the morning, I, I feel my face really needs a good drink. So I use this. Lancome Advanced Genifique. And I absolutely love this. This one's the 50ml. You only need a little bit on your face. It spreads really well and I always put it down my neck and down here. Not a really big fan of fake tan, to be honest. Sunbathing that much either. I like to look brown. <laughs> so, tanning oil. I pop it into this Sarin's spray and it's a factor 20. So I would generally just put that all over me. Always use a serum and then I put on like a sun cream on my face. Now, I don't know why I've always done that. Face is always out in the elements and I just always think you should protect your face. So factor 50 on the face and then apply the makeup. I never always used to wear makeup when I was young and my friend Lorraine always said, wear makeup because if you wear makeup, you're, you're putting a barrier on your face and it's protecting you from the elements. And she's got a beautiful skin, so I've always thought, that's a great idea. I didn't believe her when I was young. I used to always say, mm, don't know because is your skin breathing? But she has proven me wrong. She's got a beautiful skin and she's always glowing. I think the pan stick back in the day did help. Pack it on, <laughs> put lots of makeup on and protect your face. What I would definitely say is put an eye serum on. Love the, the Genifique Lancome. And then the Lancome Advanced Genifique Serum for your face and right down here. Put this on. And if you want to put a bit of tan in it, you can put a little bit of spray there. And then use your tanning oil, pour a little bit of that. bought it when I was on a flight one day and love it. And then just rub it all into your face. And that's giving you your protection for before you put your makeup on. It doesn't have to be the Clarins one. Honestly, guys, I have bought the Tesco's one for five pound, as long as you've got a factor 20 to a factor 50. This one is particularly luxurious, especially around the elbows, because as we're getting older, guys, the elbows are getting drier. It looks nice and soft. Let's put it on my hands, because my hands are drying up as you get older as well. Always put on the knees <laughs> and the ankles to make you, your skin look 
really nice and soft. I said earlier that I'm not a fan of fake tan, but I can't stand looking white like I do today. But you do have to give your skin a bit of a break. And this is why I'm looking really white, because I'm just trying to prep my skin. When it gets to really hot weather, then I will put a bit of tan on because we can't go out looking white. I don't know why. We just feel that it just looks awful. Another good trick that I use is back face and body foundation. Makeup for your body. Put with this and then I put a tiny bit of that face and body and just rub it in so that you're not looking really muddy. I hate that muddy look with fake tan and especially as you're getting older I think it looks really tacky I really don't like it it's not for me tiny bit fake tan on so it doesn't look too fake it's the essential products that I would use one thing I would definitely say is when I got to 50 I decided that I was going to try not to be lying in the sun this is the bit of your skin that really starts to age very conscious of not bearing the chest area to the sun factor 50. I wish there was a factor 100. <laughs> they protect this area. Probably put something like a towel over this bit and I would never ever put my face to the sun. Factor 50 on the face and probably put a hat. My advice to you when you go sunbathing, I always put fake tan on before I go abroad because I just don't want to get really brown. That sounds really silly but it does protect your skin. I am going to be doing three videos a week. <laughs> <laughs> really going to try hard and get the videos out as consistent as possible i hope you're enjoying the videos if you are enjoying them then subscribe like and share anything that i've shared with you is of good value then do just let me know in the comments below take good care cheers bye